Enough of this post-breakup passivity, my dear. It's absurd how many men, when left by women, act as if they are expendable instead of showing why they should reconsider. This deeply annoys me. That's why today I'm going to reveal the four essential steps to make that woman who left you regret bitterly and even beg to come back. If you're tired of being treated as disposable, pay attention and change this once and for all. Let's begin. Number one, let go of the shared moments. Enough with this habit of replaying the past like it's a rerun movie, man. Letting go of the shared moments isn't about erasing memories or ignoring what you lived together. It's about recognizing that phase has truly ended, you know. Many guys insist on dwelling on memories, trapped in an emotional cycle that only amplifies feelings of loss and abandonment. When you decide to detach, you're not just making room for new experiences, you're showing your ex, and more importantly, yourself, that you have plenty of strength and self-confidence. It's showing that you're ready to move forward in a healthy and constructive way, building a new version of yourself. It's not about denying the value of what you shared, but accepting that everything had its time, and now it's about focusing on the present. Investing in your own interests, taking care of your mental and emotional health, and facing new challenges that help you grow personally is the way forward. And listen, letting go also means freeing yourself from those expectations that weren't met. Many guys cling to past idealizations, wondering what if, or how would it be if we were still together? These thoughts only anchor you to a reality that's already gone. Letting go means valuing yourself in the here and now, choosing to build a future where you are whole by yourself, regardless of who is by your side or not. Understand once and for all, letting go isn't turning your back on the experiences you lived. It's recognizing that you deserve more than being stuck in a story that's already over. It's a crucial step for your own emotional healing and making space for a future where you are truly complete and happy. Number two, keep your life active. Do you think that after a breakup you can hide away, lament, and relive every moment as if you were in a sappy movie? That's a serious mistake. This approach only prolongs the suffering and makes your ex think that you're incapable of moving on. Keeping your life active isn't just about filling time with anything, it's about continuing to truly grow. When you keep your life active, you show that you have self-confidence and self-worth. You're no longer relying on the past relationship to be happy. Of course, it's normal to feel sadness and need time to process everything, but don't let those feelings dominate you. Staying active also means continuing to evolve personally and professionally. Invest in your interests, hobbies, and projects that genuinely excite you. Developing new skills or exploring different areas not only brings you fulfillment, but also boosts your self-esteem and confidence. Moreover, keeping your life active might catch your ex's attention. When she sees that you're focused on growing and taking care of yourself, she might start to question if she made the right decision to end things. She could see that you're independent and resilient, someone who has a lot to offer beyond what was experienced in the relationship. Remember, keeping your life active isn't just about appearing busy to her. It's about valuing yourself and building a solid foundation for your future. By doing so, you're demonstrating self-respect and showing that you can be happy without depending on anyone else. Number three, don't make it easy for her to come back. Man, after a breakup, it's normal to miss her and feel like going back, right? But man, don't make it easy for her. It's crucial to set firm and clear boundaries. That means not being available all the time, not immediately responding to every message, and not agreeing to meet up casually. When you show that you won't take her back without serious changes, you're protecting your heart and demonstrating self-respect. It's not about punishing or belittling your ex, but ensuring that any reconciliation is based on rebuilding trust and true commitment. Maintaining this firm stance shows that you value yourself and aren't willing to compromise your principles just to satisfy a momentary desire for reconciliation. It's about making it clear that you deserve to be treated with respect and won't be manipulated by fleeting emotions. Number four, value yourself and prioritize your emotional well-being. No matter what your ex tries to do to manipulate you or make you feel guilty, you need to stay focused on your own self-worth and emotional well-being. Don't fall for emotional games, cheap manipulations, or empty promises that will only drain your self-esteem. 
When you decide to invest in your personal growth, take care of your mental health, and seek happiness within yourself, you're building a strong foundation for your future. This isn't selfishness, it's pure self-respect and emotional independence. It's knowing that you deserve genuine respect, both from yourself and from those around you. Prioritizing your emotional well-being isn't about forgetting past feelings, but not letting them dominate your present life. By making decisions that promote your personal growth and happiness, you're positioning yourself to attract people who truly value who you are. Number five, don't be manipulated by feelings of guilt. After a breakup, it's normal to feel guilty and question your decisions. But don't fall into the trap of allowing these feelings to dominate your self-esteem and emotional recovery. If your ex tries to manipulate you by placing blame or making you doubt your choices, it's time to show that you're not here to be manipulated. Always remember, your decisions are yours and they are valid. You deserve respect, man. Don't let anyone make you believe otherwise. Focusing on your personal growth and emotional well-being is essential to overcoming this breakup in a healthy way. Don't succumb to emotional pressures or attempts at reconciliation without deep reflection on what you truly want for your future. Taking care of yourself and maintaining a clear perspective shows that you have self-confidence and know your worth. Show your ex that you're determined to move forward and find your happiness, regardless of what has happened. If you need more advice or support, I'm here for you, buddy. To summarize everything we discussed today, detach from the shared moments, keep your life active, don't make it easy for her to come back, and above all, value yourself and prioritize your emotional well-being. Always remember that you deserve to be happy with someone who recognizes your true worth. Don't let her regret dominate your life. Focus on your own growth and fulfillment. If you found today's tips helpful, don't forget to leave a like, share the video with those who need to hear this, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Take care of yourself and until next time!